Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are talking fragrance. We are doing a dedicated fragrance review to a fragrance I wanted for a long time. And yeah, I finally got it. And yeah, I spent some time with it so now I can really talk about it. And that is none other than Mason Francis Kirkshawn's lovely, popular now scent. That is the Oud Satin Mood scent, yes. For those that are unfamiliar, this is from the fragrance house, Mason Francis Kirkshawn. Most people know the scent, Baccarat Rouge 540. You know, that one is floating around everywhere now. By the way, yes, the house has way more other scents besides Baccarat Rouge. And yes, we're gonna talk about another one that is finally getting its well-deserved due and that is again the Oud Satin Mood Eau de Parfum so that's what we're talking about today but alas before we get into this dedicated fragrance review yes it's a dedicated review let's take care of business first elves you know what time it is lipstick of the day everyone we went with a classic red lip because yeah the blonde is popping right here in the hair I'm here for it so we went with none other than Mac Ruby Woo I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this is a classic that's gonna keep on giving. It will be in the description box below as always. And elves, let me know what you think. Mwah. Fragrance of the day, everyone. I went with one of my absolute favorite office staples. I'm probably thinking I end up doing a fragrance, fragrances I like for the office video at some point. But yeah, if you've been watching me, you know I always wear this one to work. And this is none other than Dior Addict, elves. Yes, Dior Addict. This is nothing new. There I say, I think it's almost 20 years old. It might be over 20 years old at this point. But yeah, it's really good and I love it. So all right, you all, today's scent is Mason Francis Kirk John's Oud Satin Mood. As always, you know, when it comes to fragrance reviews, I give a breakdown of the details, the stats of it. And I also then follow up with my own rating system of how I rate fragrances. And that is done by four categories. The first category is mood. How does this fragrance make me feel when I wear it? How does it make me feel when I smell it? Where am I wearing it to? The second category is strength. And that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being scentless skin scent, practically on up to 10, which is nuclear beast mode. And I have to scrub and bathe to get it off. Three is longevity. And that is how many hours did this last? on my skin how long could i smell it from initial spray on throughout the day or into the night that's when we talk about the longevity category and then in the fourth and final one and this is one that matters to a lot of people dare i say or if not teach his own that is was this a compliment getting fragrance and that's simply a yes or no answer and we talk more about that is this a crowd of pleasing scent or not so yeah, let's get right on into this here dedicated fragrance review. Just some quick stats on it. This fragrance was released in 2015, so it is not new at all. It's not new, it's going on seven years old at this point. So this is a scent that's had some time to be out here, be around, to do its thing. It is a, it is a niche fragrance because Macy's French and Kirkjean, MFK for short, is a fragrance niche house. That's what it is. And then yes, by the way, it is unisex. So that means anybody can wear this scent and it is loved by men and women and everything in between all alike and some so some more information about it I will be reading this as well it does come in four sizes as of lately it wasn't always that way so there's a lot more variety here with this scent so in the first size it comes in a um, travel set trio where you get 0.37 fluent ounces you get three of those little vials and those are $185 then the next one up this is the most newest size they've came out with this is the 1.2 fluid ounce size and it's $185. You can usually pick that one up at say um, Bloomingdale's and, and of course the MFK official website. All of this will be linked below by the way so you don't have to look hard for this information of where to find these different sizes and things. So then from there we have the standard size which is the 2.4 fluid ounce. That's the most standard commonly seen commonly sold size. The standard 2.4 fluid ounce size is a whopping $300. Yes again you all this is niche this is luxury. And yeah, you're gonna pay that coin for it. Yes, you are. And then lastly, the biggest size they make. This is for somebody that really, really loves this scent or you're just a true collector of MFK fragrances, in my opinion. And that is the 6.8 Fluence Out size. And that one is $565. Yes. I'm giving you all the full retail values. Of course, you can catch sales on these scents sometime. I know um, I've caught like Saks has had sales. Um, Burdoff Goodman has had sales. Nordstrom has sales too. Or a price measure for things so 
course you can find a little bit of wiggle room here and there but i always like to give you all the true retail price so you are not surprised you're not shocked when you go in to find this scent smell it buy it online however you feel <laughs> So next step two, let's get into the fragrance notes of this MFK Oud Satin Mood EDP. I also, by the way, I have to stress, we are talking about the original Eau de Parfum version. There is an extract de Parfum version. That's a totally different topic, totally different thing. I do not own that one, but at some point I might end up with it. We'll see what happens, but we're talking about the EDP for right now. This is the one that we're focusing on here. So back to the fragrance notes. We have, let's see here, the fragrance notes that have listed are Violet, Oud, Damascana Rose, Vanilla Amber Accord, Benzoin, and then they have the rose listed again. So this is a very Oud Rose combination type of fra fragrance. And then I will say, yeah, the Violet gives it a nice touch. And then the Vanilla Amber Oud, that's kind of nice as well. I, it's a totally, it's a, it's a whole vibe, by the way. It's a totally different vibe. So now let's get into what you all care about, which is the fragrance. Here's the box. Yes, check it out. I have held on to this bad boy for you all. I love how it's so royal looking. It's very, very nice. For those that do remember, for my old elves, but for my new elves, I did get this scent as a Christmas gift. Shout out to the head elf. He listened and he picked this one up for me. So yes, this one was a love gift and I'm here for it. So I'm gonna unbox it again on camera for you all. And when you get it, this is how it comes. You pull it out and it is right inside of there for you all to check out. And this is again, the standard size, the 2.4 fluid ounce. These are the ones you see all over Instagram, all over YouTube and TikTok too, for those that are over there. So, all right, we got it out. This is what the bottle looks like. Very navy blue type of bottle with gold accents and writing. And yes, let's get into it. Fragrance strips. I always like to spray this. Let that settle down while we talk about this fragrance some more. Oh, it is all in the air, you all. Let that sit and dry down there for a sec. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, there's a total cloud just now. Oh my goodness. I really could have done one spray, but I did three just for the sake of the integrity of the video. <laughs> so, all right, y'all, let's get into the fragrance categories for rating and reviewing the scent. First one, again, is mood. How does this fragrance make me feel? You all, let me tell you something about Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood makes me feel grand. It makes me feel sophisticated. It makes me feel elevated. It makes me feel upper echelon, darling. Honey, yes, you can't sit with us. This is VIP, honey. This is what this is giving. This is giving um, invitation only. This is giving black tie dress code. This is giving all of that. Mm, those are my kind of events. So I live for a good black tie affair. I'm just saying. <laughs> so yes, very elegant, very upper echelon. That's the mood for this scent. So now let's get into the strength of this scent. This thing is strong. You all, ooh, satin mood EDP is strong. This is not for the faint of heart. You don't, you do not have to spray a lot of it to get the full effect. I have to give this one, this is a nine. It's a nine, so it's a powerhouse scent. A little bit goes a long way. You're going to smell it, and others around you are definitely going to smell you too. If you're a person that doesn't want a lot of attention, you can't wear this scent because it's going to command attention because it's that potent and that powerful. And it just smells so rich. It just smells luxe. It's just, yes. Now let's get into longevity. So yes, this is a strong scent. So you can already imagine the longevity in this scent is long. I easily get eight plus hours out of this scent. So it truly lasts all day without retouching it. If you spray it at the beginning of the day, you will continue to smell it at the end of the day. Oh, by the way, if you spray it on your clothes, it hugs your fabrics even more than it does your skin. So this is a true good bang for your book. Honestly, for the price tag of $300, you do actually get your money's worth because you don't have to bathe in it to get the full effect. Lastly, let's get into the final category and that is compliment factor. And this is an absolute freaking compliment factor. It gets a lot of compliments. Dare I say, men love this scent on me. I will say Head Elf definitely loves this scent on me. He comments on it every time I wear it and others comment on it as well. My mother said, oh wow. 
oh, that's just elevated when she smelled it. And she has a very sensitive nose and very keen about scents. So for her to say that, it really meant a lot as well. So I will say you all, you definitely get that violet up top. The rose is serious, but that oud is what carries this scent on into the night. Again, you have to really like rose and you gotta like oud or you are not gonna like this scent. But this is definitely a rose and oud type of scent that dries down very powder, very powdery into a satiny powdery finish. So I totally get the name of why they call it oud satin mood. So again, if you do not like oud, if you do not like rose, you're not gonna like this scent. I'll tell you that right now, you just not. But if you like that combination, this is right up your alley and it's solely it's an elevated experience for those that like rose and oud combinations for sure <sighs> i'm gonna tell you all i wanted this scent ever since i smelled it last year so on my last year birthday and back in march yay again march baby i picked up the mfk a la rose scent which by the way let me know if y'all want a full dedicated video on that scent because most people don't talk about a la rose so i'm thinking i might do it but let me know elves in the comments below so i picked up a la rose from a local boutique here that carries mfk and then they let me smell some other scents they was like oh you ought to try some other scents that you know that aren't as talked about and i said okay i said well let's try that ooh said mood one and she was like oh yes you absolutely have to smell that one smelled it she also made me a sample as well i fell in love and this is a scent you all that smells even better the longer it sits the magic is truly in the dry down of this scent the opening is kind of loud it's kind of like okay i don't know where this is going but the magic ah oh, this is a scent to me that gets better the longer you wear it and it's just beautiful and it just takes you to a totally elevated place it's just everything just in a nutshell you all let me tell you, Oud Set and Mood is basically a gala gown in a bottle. It's a gala gown in a bottle. This has become my new gala ball after five scent. This is just everything. I don't reach for it as often because of the fact that to me, this is not an everyday scent. Of course, you can wear whatever you want to. Some days I'm feeling elevated and I will pull for it, but I don't wear this one every day because it's special. It's just really, really special to me and I really like it. I really, really like it. I like it so much that I'm also considering getting the um, extract, the parfum version that I talked about at the beginning of the video because this is amazing. So I can imagine that the extract would be even better, which of course, extracts are even stronger than older parfums, just FYI elves. So that will be a totally different experience. Oh my goodness, but that'll probably be a winter purchase. Not right now because obviously we're going into spring. So we'll see what happens. Put it on the wish list. But yeah, in a nutshell, I think Oud Satin Mood is totally worth the price. I think it is everything. I think this is one of the absolute best offerings from MFK. Dare I say it might be the best offering from MFK, which that can be subjective. I still got some other ones I want to smell, but for sure, this is definitely in the top five MFKs, for sure, hands down. I have no issue saying that, definitely top five. Amazing. So elves, that is your dedicated review on the Oud Satin Mood. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this scent? Are you intrigued by this scent? Or is there anything else from the house of MFK that you're digging, that you like wanna smell, or you wanna review on? Let me know. Ah uh, yes, but alas, I love this scent. I think it's amazing. So yes, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're digging the content, like the video. And if you feel feeling either one, that's all right as well. I appreciate your view anyway. But until next time, elves, I'll catch y'all next video. Bye y'all.